Okay, uh, this project we're doing today is actually going to be uh, due today. Um, so you just have this today in classroom. It's a tutorial assignment, so you should follow along with exactly what I'm showing you in the video here. And this is a preview of what this project will look like when you're finished, okay? So you can see here we are blurring the money, the paper money, and leaving the coins in focus, okay? So I'm going to go back to Canvas. I'm going to get started here. So um, I'm showing the student view. Um, so we have the calendar here, and this is an assignment that's going to be due uh, today, okay? And again, like you just just have your one class selected, so like A1, and I'm going to turn off A2 because the two things going on there is confusing. So A2 you have to turn off, okay? So I can click on the selection tools here. That's the assignment they're working on. So this is a tutorial assignment. I want you to complete this as exactly as I show you in the video. This is due today. Okay. Click on the classroom link. Take to the assignment here. Now what you have is the image you're going to start with and the website. It's called Pixel. P-I-X-L-R. Um, because in this class we are actually uh, designed to actually learn Photoshop. But right now Photoshop is not working because we're working remotely and it's not working just right. So we're using an online uh, editing software. Okay, and that's what this website is. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you download this image here. Right now, you don't have any options to download, but you're going to click on the little dots, three little dots, give it more actions, and open a new window. Then you have the options to use the download button. Okay, and you're going to, okay, yes, so you're going to click on the downloads button. Okay, and it's going to download that uh, image to your downloads folder, okay? And that's fine, you see this download there, okay? So click back on the selection tools, um, and now I can actually get out of that assignment, or get out of that preview, then click on the link that opens up this uh, online editing tool. You're gonna click on image, open image there, then you're gonna actually go to your downloads folder and click on the selection tools, it's the image that you just downloaded. Click on open, okay? Then you have that image there of the paper money and everything like that. So what we're gonna do is it's very similar to Photoshop, has the very similar to the same tools. Just take a sec and actually show you the, the ways to zoom because ways to zooms are actually really important because you need to be able to see what you're looking at to be able to complete things, okay? So the three main ways to zoom in this online uh, software, this online uh, version, is uh, you got the scroll wheel on your mouse, which is actually a really easy way for me to zoom because I can be at the winner. No matter what kind of tool I'm in, I can still zoom. The second way is using the navigator window. So if I zoom in, I can see this little box is moving, and if I want to move that around, that's the second way to zoom. So the first way is the scroll wheel. The second way is the navigator. And then the third way is actually using the little zoom uh, icon. So you can change the minus click. Every time you click, it's going to zoom out. But in my opinion, that's a really slow way to zoom out. And then you have to have a hand, and they can move it around where you want to. Okay. I prefer using the zoom tool. So like, no matter what, what kind of tool I'm in, like this tool, I can still zoom. In. Okay, just using the scroll wheel. Um, there are two more additional ways in Photoshop that aren't available in this online version, but We'll get that at some point. So I just want you to boil it down to, I want you to know which ways you can zoom, but I want you to choose one way that works for you and just stay with that so you can complete your assignments and zoom in and see what you need to. Um, the next thing I'm talking about is the, the layers menu and the history panel. This is again very similar to Photoshop. You've got each different layer here, and you can see here when you actually do this project here, it will, um, show up at different layers okay the history panel keeps track of all your different every different um, activity you've been doing so if i want to like select things it shows me i've used a marquee tool and i'll use the stamp tool and i move that and then i can see i've i've given the clan tool then if i want to use the move tool then i move it and then um, if i want to then like use the shape tool let's deselect that actually then like the, the like the shape tool 
So it keeps track of all those things. So no matter what I've did, if I need to go back and like decide like, oh, I don't want to really move that around or I didn't want to create the shape, just click on the open and it goes back to that exact step. That is exactly like Photoshop. And that is very, very helpful. I use that like pretty much every different project I'm working on in Photoshop. So we're going to go back to um, basically the beginning and zoom out all the way so I can see everything. So I'll click minus, zoom out, okay, like this. So we're going to start with actually we have the layers here. So this is the actual project we're starting with. So we're going to select on the selection tool. Now we're going to start with actually just grabbing a little, uh, we need to actually deselect that first, I'm sorry. So we need to make sure our selection type is ellipse. Now, our, that, because our coins are circular. So you want to grab a circle. It's not going to be perfect, but and then you can move it on to the area. But then you want to click Edit, uh, Copy, and then Edit. You can see it did that in the middle of the screen, egg paste. So it pastes that in the middle. Now you click on the Move tool. This is exactly like Photoshop. The Move tool is actually just like an arrow. And then you move that onto just where the, the nickel was. Now what you're going to do is you're going to rename that layer. So you're going to have to rename your layers. So I name it as nickel. Okay. So we'll close that. So this is actually, this layer here is highlighted. So if I try to actually select the next, the next shape, which is actually the quarter, and try to actually select that one, and then if I try to edit and copy that one. It says nothing selected because I have this layer selected and there's nothing selected. There's nothing there underneath where that quarter is. So I need to go back to the background, have it highlighted, then I can choose edit, copy, and then edit, paste. And so you're going to rename that layer. I'm going to try and do this quickly. Quarter, yeah. So you yeah, select back on background. I'll move that around. I'm sorry, quarter. Then you move that where it needs to go. And background and selection. And we're going to grab the penny. Move that where it needs to go. Edit, copy, edit, paste. Now I'm going to move, click on the move tool. Move that penny back over where it was originally put. Now we're going to click on the background layer here, so select that again. Oh, we need to rename it. So rename it as Penny. Okay. Then I'm going to actually make sure the background is selected. Add the selection tool. Now we click on the, the dime. Again, it's not perfect, but we need close. So the dime here. Now we can click Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste. And just name, name this layer here. Needs to be dime one. Now I need to go back to the background and select that one. And the selection tool is active. Oh, I need to go back to the dime one. I forgot to move that around. It needs to go back where it needs to be. Oh, right there. Then you're going to select the background there. I was getting on myself. Selection tool, select that dime two. Move that over here where it needs to go. Again, it's not perfect, but it's close. Edit, copy, and then edit, paste. Now rename layer as dime two. Two, here we go. And now, then we're gonna move that dime back over where it began, where it needs to go here. Okay. Then I'm gonna scroll down to background. Okay, so now we've actually, Copied all those coins. Now what you need to do is click on filter, details, and uh, sorry, details, blur. And we're gonna make that blur at about 20%. Okay. And click apply. So if you see there now the money is blurred, just like our uh, original example, and the coins are still in focus. Okay, the money is blurred, but the coins are still in focus. Okay. And now what you're gonna do is click on file and save and just name it a selection tool but needs to be like low is fine doesn't have to be high click download and now this download is actually selection tool one 
and it's going to put it in your downloads folder. So you can click close here. Now it's a download in your downloads folder. So we can go back to classroom. It should show up in the right hand portion of uh, assignments you want to turn in. So you click uh, add file and then you're going to go to uh, that assignment. And it's very similar to like this uh, window here. And then I'm going to grab the selection one. Okay. And select that and then uh, add it to that file. And then you can actually preview it to see if it's the right one and click turn in. And then we'll finish this assignment. Okay.